up everyone welcome to the channel today's video is going to be how to change your rear brake pads on a 2007 Kia Optima let's get started first before you jack up your car okay then first before you jack up your car you're going to want to go ahead and loosen the lug nuts a little bit Now, with your lug nuts loose, you can go ahead and jack up your car. Your lug nuts are a 21 millimeter, in case you didn't know. Now, with your vehicle jacked up, your tire completely off the ground, you can go ahead and finish removing your lug nuts and your rim and tire. With your rim and tire assembly off the car, usually, you'd be able to just take the two back bottom uh, bolts behind it out and your caliper would come out. That's not the case on the Kia. Kia has this torsion bar right here that hooks up for the suspension, front of the suspension, and as you see, it's right in the way. Um, if you can see down, I don't know if you can see it down here, right down there, is the other bolt for the caliper so you have to remove this this end of the torsion bar out of the way now in order to do that there's just one bolt um, and you'll be able to slide it right out the one side is a three-quarter inch and the other side is 11 sixteenths to remove the torsion bar There you go, that's out. There you go, now that's out of your way. Now you can get to that bolt right there that you need to take out. You're going to take out that one, and you're going to take out this one. Be careful of the brake line when you're working on it. I use this as my breaker bar. Enough muscle to, to loosen it because they are pretty tight. I'll show you again which one I'm taking out. This one, not the first one, the second one, the one that's below it. Gotta take out the whole caliper, take off the whole caliper. Like I said, they're pretty tight, so you're probably gonna wanna try to use some kind of breaker, breaker bar. But you also gotta remember you don't have that much room working with you for you. And in there, that's that's where that one's at that I'm taking off, just to kind of give you an idea. Now there's a washer on these that you don't you don't want to lose, so make sure you you keep them. Now I got the jack stand. To put the caliper on once I take it off. Let 
Now some guys press in the piston, the brake piston, they press it in when it's still on the car. I don't do that. There you go. It's that simple to, to remove off the car. Now you have your two pads, the outside pad and the inside pad. Both of these aren't that bad. I just I just did the other side. Here was the inside pad. Looked pretty pretty good. Here's the outside pad. There was nothing there. You can actually see up top where it started rubbing. And that's why I had to replace it. That was the other side. So I did that earlier in the week. I wanted to record it, but I couldn't because it was so dark out. It would have came out like garbage. So I figured I'd wait till the weekend and do do this side and show everybody how it's done. Now all you gotta do is just pop out the old pad. Push it with your finger, pop it out. Now they recommend getting new metal clips that are inside that guide the brakes on. Um, I got the cheap, the cheap pair of brake pads, the silver, so they did not come with new ones. This one with the, the little lip is going to be the inside one. And I put that on first because I'm going to use that to push in the piston. What I should have done was, I should have pushed, pushed the piston in with the old brake pad on. Let me see if I can get the old one back in so I can use that one to push the piston back in. A little tricky because you want to get them both in at the same time top and bottom if it goes in at an angle it probably won't slide in okay now what I'm going to use is this big vise and I'm going to push the piston back in with it I don't know if it's going to show it or not, but you might be able to see the piston getting pushed back in. You might be able to see the brake pad going even too. I just can't hold the camera close because I got to make sure it doesn't slip off this. This nut, nut up top. That might be as far as it goes, I don't know. Alright, after you get the piston collapsed, you just put the old brake pads, I mean the new brake pads in the same way that you took the old ones out. There's only one way that they'll slide into the little clips. Um, it's getting pretty dark out, so I gotta hurry up and finish putting, putting it back together. All you do is just put in your two bolts to hold the copper on, put this control arm or whatever back in place, <clears throat> and then put the bolt in 
and nut um, through it to hold it. Tighten it pretty tight. Then um, put your put your brake your um, tire and wheel back on. Now most cars, I've done this three or four times on three or four different cars. I have never had to remove anything else to get to the caliper. This is the first car in time I've ever had to remove something. That's like I said, that's exactly in a way to get to that that bolt down there. It's pretty simple. Um, this piston, obviously, as you see, I was having problems trying to to get it to collapse back in. I was using the old brake against it to even out with my C clamp and pushing it in. Um, the other side, the piston went in perfectly fine. So maybe this piston is starting to act up. I don't know. I don't know if you can see me. Here's a little bit of light. Um, another thing I want to let you know is when you go to stake this torsion bar back on, um, you gotta put that bolt and nut on. It's it's pain in the ass to get that bolt to line up right and go through. My tip of advice is once you get the torsion bar set in there, let me mount this light real quick. Grab this whole brake caliper and pull it back a little bit as you're inserting the bolt through. Um, that's the easiest way I found because once you take that, that bar out, the torsion bar out, um, this whole assembly goes in a little bit. So you have to pull it back out to get it to line up straight. Um, you can try to use a screwdriver and stick it in there um, and then just eyeball it and once you get it lined up pretty good then you can just take a hammer or something and tap it the rest of the way through. There you go. That's how to change your brake pads in the rear. Give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Till next time. Peace.